before I move this, I found what appears to be a high signal and a surface fine. It looks like, oh heck, it's just a, uh, I don't know, some of those, one of those push buttons. Thought that might have been a silver. Okay, keep looking. Well, I just dug this up from this hole, and it was something in the high 80s, and this might be a ring. It's definitely a ring. It is definitely a ring. I'm not sure if it's silver or what. All right, let me take a look at this and I will give you a report. Well, I'm not sure I've ever seen a ring spill, but this is another ring and this is the other hole and this is this ring. Uh, uh, this I believe is a class ring. Oh my God. I think I finally struck gold. Anyway, uh, I will take a look at it later. Oh my God. Well, this is Texas Tiger Digs again, and uh, I went out for a hunt. Uh, Lunch time today. Uh, you know, I just took a little time off from work. <laughs> You know, no real time. I just my lunch period. So I went out to the park and I decided I would give it a quick run with no expectation of achieving anything. So what happened? Uh, this happened. Uh, first thing I found was this. Uh, Eco driver. I'm not sure what that was. But it was face down and it gave a very high signal. So I saw this could be silver. And then I popped it over and you know and it was one of these little emblems or little, little, a little uh, it's a push pin type thing uh, that you put in your uh, collar or something like that to show you'd achieve whatever that symbolized so that was no big deal then I went and I decided I, I you know I went a little bit further in a direction that uh, or at random and I got a good signal and that good signal was this and uh Love weights, true love weights. That's what it says on the side of it. It's almost it's a it's a men's ring. I guess I have a bigger finger than I think, uh, or a or a or a woman's ring, uh, who has larger hands. In any case, uh, this is my seventh silver ring of the year. Uh, I have with one silver bracelet, and uh, and I had at that point. Uh, three junk rings, four junk rings, so that would have made it 11. Then, okay, I went up there and I, I picked it up and I checked my hole. You know, I know it usually means coins, but at the heck, I checked my hole. And voila, ring number two. This is my first class ring. Now, this is for a, a, an area, an area school, so I'm gonna make every attempt to find the owner of this ring, and I was going to do it whatever the value. But I was hoping that it had more value. But I looked in there and it has a trademark symbol called CEL. And I believe that's this manufacturer's symbol for crap we've thrown in a vat, melted, and now it shines. <laughs> so it's just basically it, it, it is, uh, it is uh, a combination of metals, you know, inexpensive and, uh, uh, you know, reworked or recycled. And they can give it enough of a shine to make it pass for a silver or a white gold ring. So that's basically what it is. So that didn't turn out to have any value. So I guess despite the fact it's a class ring, but I am going to count it as my first class ring. I've got to, just by virtue of, the, of its value or of its lack thereof, classify it as a junk ring. So, so I think that brings my total ring count now to 12. 11 or 12, but definitely it's seven silver rings, one silver bracelet, one class ring, countless, countless amounts of, uh, of bling, etc. 
Uh, so, uh, you know, it, it, it was something. And I also it do that, got a crusty zinc and a quarter. But obviously, when I found this, it broke my concentration because I was really thinking this might be white gold. But when I saw it at CELs and I, and I looked it up with that manufacturer's name, and, uh, my heart sort of failed. Now, I was going to return it to the, to the person whose name is on the ring, no matter what. But it would have been nice to click that into the gold column. So I wouldn't have be so I wouldn't be into my cold gold 2014 streak wouldn't continue, but my silver my silver streak does continue and this is 925. I did see the 925 symbol there. In any case, uh, that's what I got for today. Went out to the big part. Went out to the part that you know that I've been hitting you know over and over again. I went a different angle and voila, I did get new new things with with value and uh, something that can generate interest. So. I'm happy about that. Uh, well, it, it will energize me when I go back out to the park and uh, do some more detecting. I've got a field to hit around that field. I see a lot of people there on the weekends. Nobody there on the weekdays. So maybe maybe my next uh, my next hunt, my next uh, either weekend. No, it can't be a weekend hunt because there'll be people there. It's got to be a lunchtime hunt or after work hunt. Maybe one of those two hunts will turn up some something interesting there. In any case, this is Texas Tiger Diggs, and that's all I've got for today. Uh, not a bad day, and I will uh, see you at the next hunt, at the next dig.